Our live team coverage continues here at the Inner Harbor with Stefan Dingle and more on that curfew. Stefan. Hey there, thanks, Mike. Uh, speaking of that curfew, I talked with the president of the NAACP Baltimore, Reverend Colby Little. Uh, I spoke to him while he was at the convention center, which is just two blocks from where this shooting happened just yesterday. And when I spoke with him, he was actually promoting a dynamic conference that's going to be here in less than two weeks that ironically is talking about a number of issues in the black community, including violence. When it comes to that curfew, though, Reverend Little uh, basically says it's simply a band aid over a deeper issue among our youth. A curfew uh, may be a temporary solution for acute situations, but a long-standing curfew does nothing but abridge the rights of those who are abiding by the law and those who have a right to enjoy the city. Police are trying to break up a fight among a large group of teens in downtown Sunday night before the inner harbor became a crime scene after two teens were shot and wounded. We're deeply concerned about the violence that is gripping our city. We know, though, that the violence is uh, the outcome or a, a symptom of a greater problem. Reverend Colby Little of the Baltimore NAACP says the problem with violence among our youth and the string of incidents so far this year go far beyond the surface and require unified commitment from the entire community. Part of the issue is uh, there's a sense of hopelessness. A part of the issue is that there is a lack of opportunity. Part of the issue is that there's a lack of adult leadership. And so we hope to address all of those issues in the coming weeks and months uh, to build peace in Baltimore. Reverend Little says building that peace means spreading love, building relationships and connections with our youth, work that will require all of us to pitch in. Now, in regards to the details of that curfew, uh, Mayor Brandon Scott actually spoke a little bit earlier this afternoon again in regards to this incident and the curfew. And uh, what we got from that is that his team, his agency, is still working out the logistics and the rules about what age group needs to be at home at what time, and let alone when this will all take effect. As soon as we know more, we, of course, will update you here on WJZ on air and online. We're live in downtown Baltimore tonight. I'm Stefan Dingle for WJZ.